Hi, I'm Craig Phillips. Welcome to my tiling trade tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set out and fix your bathroom wall tiles, along with creating a feature wall using two different style tiles. which are both very different in both size and texture. One of them is gonna be this very large 900 millimeters by 450 rectangular shaped tile. It's porcelain and it's a very smooth surface. The second tile I'm gonna be using, which will create the feature around my shower, is gonna be this 660 millimeters, very textured tile. Now, of course, there's plenty of different tiles on the market, different sizes, shapes, and textures. The choice is yours. But fixing them is all pretty much similar, along with setting it out. I am gonna be fixing them to the walls with a flexible floor tile adhesive due to the size and shape of the tiles. Now, setting out for your first tile is very important because that first tile dictates where the rest of the tiles are going to fit on the wall. Normally, we would say measure and draw a line up the very centre of the wall and work your way out so you've got an equal tile either side. However, I'm having a feature wall here which is going to be directly above my shower tray, which is already in a fixed position, so I'm using the centre of the shower tray as my starting point. As you can see, I've fitted a batten to the wall. This is going to help in two ways. One, it's perfectly level, so it gives me a great level point to start tiling from because we never tile directly on the floor. We can't guarantee that that is going to be level and there could be some movement in the floor. So we've got it fixed on nice and firmly, screwed into position. We can apply our tiles and work our way all the way up to the top. Once they're dry, we can remove the batten away and then we can make a measurement and do a cut underneath. But remember our cut below wants to be the same size as the cut above to keep it all nice and balanced. And how we achieve this is we measure from the floor all the way up to the ceiling. We find a center point, we draw a line on here and then we scale down with each full tile until we've got an equal cut on the bottom. Start by applying your water into the bucket, pour the powder in slowly and mix this up with an electric drill and a mixing paddle. Read the instructions before you start to mix so you have the right quantity of water for the amount of powder you're mixing. Once you've mixed your adhesive, it's ready to apply to the wall. I'm spreading this on using a plasterous trowel, trying to get it as flush as possible. Then I'm using a 10 millimeter notch trowel to comb across the adhesive to spread it evenly. Once I've done this, I do the same on the reverse of the tile. Spread it on with the plasterous trowel and comb this through using an eight millimeter notch trowel. Then the tile's ready to apply to the wall. Place it into position, apply a small amount of pressure on all four corners until the tile starts to grab to the wall. Now you're ready to apply the second tile. Place this into position, applying the pressure on all four corners and straddle your spirit level across them to make sure they're finishing flush. Now I've got my first tiles fixed into position. A couple of little tile spaces in there to space them out. These are going to fit directly over my shower tray. We're on a building site here, so the shower tray hasn't been fitted at this moment. But this point, the join is going to be right in the mid center. And you can see my pipes coming out the wall where the shower is going to be housed. All I need to do now is work out my cuts for either side. Now the first course of tiles is fixed into place on the batten, they're starting to set. We're ready to apply the second course. These tiles I'm using, as you know, are long, 900 millimeters in length. So we could fit them directly on top of the full tile, and that way our cuts will be all the way up the one end. That would work when we've got a big long wall and we're using a lot of these, but when we've only got a cut and a half, I prefer to fix my full tile on this side, and then have that same size cut onto here. And then all I do is alternate them as I work up the wall. Now I'm coming back to the starting point here, the feature wall, which is going to fit directly over the shower tray. We've worked our tiles either side three quarters high, staggering the joints on there, because that's the effect I wanted to try to create. But this feature wall, I'm not going to stagger the joints. I'm going to keep them perfectly straight, right up the center, where I've already drawn this line on here with my spirit level. Then, the second tile that I'm about to fit on here, I have to cut a hole out to slide over these water pipes. Now, measuring that and transferring it onto the tile, there's a number of different ways of doing it. One, we can lift the tile up into place, offer it up level with there, 
and do a mark on it. Same again with this tile. Or you can simply take a measurement from here to here and also from here to here, transferring them onto your tile. Alternatively, you can see I've drawn two lines on here. I just got my set square, placed it flush to the top of the tile, and then I touch either side of the pipe, transferring them marks onto this tile. Then I take a measurement on this tile, which is gonna be a little bit more accurate to transfer onto here before I drill a hole. Right, so now the cut is done. I'm going to offer this up over the pipe whilst it's dry without any adhesive on it, just to check that it fits in position here. Allowing for a couple of packs underneath. Perfect. So I'll take him off and I can apply the adhesive both on the back of the tile and on the wall, and then it's ready to bed into position. Now I've got four tiles in position, I'm gonna check with a longer spirit level just to double check they're all nice and flush. Now you can purchase different sized tile spaces. I'd always advise when you're purchasing your tiles, get some advice what works best with the tiles you've chosen. Now we've got four full tiles fixed on here. You can start to see the pattern occur in staggering the joints of the tiles, but I'm ready for the top tile, which of course is a cut and is going to be the same size as the bottom one below. So my next full tile is going to fit flush with here next to the feature wall and coming across directly in line with this joint here. So I need to take a measurement across there and do a cut. Tile Mountain have further videos of more in-depth details about cutting tiles. Please visit their website tilemountain.co.uk. Now the wall is tiled all the way to both sides and right the way up to the top with the cuts in place. It's ready to do the cuts at the bottom. But of course we have got to leave this dry for a full 24 hours before we remove this temporary batten. Then we simply measure the cuts up and fix them in position. This time we're going to leave about four or five millimeters gap for an expansion joint in the floor, which will be filled later on with the silicone when the floor tiles meet them. Once your bottom tiles are fixed into position and dry, it's ready to grab the wall. Now in a bathroom we'd always recommend a waterproof grout and in the shower area for extra protection you can use an epoxy grout. Now hopefully I've inspired you to be able to tile your bathroom walls and create a feature wall like I've done here in my own house. And remember there's plenty more videos on Tile Mountain's website. That's including different videos about grouting on walls and floors. Please visit the website tilemountain.co.uk.